Today, we're diving into a true neighborhood staple, Luigi's Pizza, serving the Brooklyn community of Park Slope since 1973. <coughs> Located just west of Prospect Park, Luigi's Pizza is your quintessential New York City style pizza spot. No frills, just fantastic pizza made with high quality ingredients. Let's head inside and see what makes this place a local favorite. As soon as you walk in, you get hit with that pizza smell. It is so good. And more importantly, you can feel the history and tradition. Luigi's was named after its founder, Luigi Lanza, and now owned by the second generation, Gio Lanza, who has personally made over one million pies with those hands. Wow. Oh, easily. With that much experience, he definitely knows the pizza oven's hotspots, along with everything else. This is a classic New York pizza, baked to perfection in a gas oven. A typical gas oven bakes at 500 to 600 degrees Fahrenheit for about four to seven minutes, giving it time to dry out the dough and cook the toppings for a stiffer bite, giving the crust that perfect balance of crispness and chewiness a New York style pizza is known for. As opposed to a wood or coal ovens that bake at 850 to 900 degrees and cooks a pizza super fast in 90 to 120 seconds. And you get a softer crust with the flop as well as in a Neapolitan pizza. Check out that geometrically perfect 18 inch waiting to be sliced. So the typical 18 inch New York pizza lends itself to eight slices per pie. Very different from how New Haven butchers their random slicing. Looking at these two slices on top of two white paper plates and wax paper brings back many awesome memories. And the simplicity of being able to eat on the go is just perfect. However, I'm gonna sit down with my wife, give her one slice and I'm gonna eat the other. Oh boy, this slice is hot and there is a light sheen of grease. So before I burn the roof of my mouth. Let's blow on it to cool it down and refold the slice. As I fold the slice, this reminds me of Adam Sandler's Big Daddy's pizza scene where he is teaching the kid how to fold the pizza slice. And in fact, you get a cameo of Luigi and Gio in the background. This is the pizza I grew up with. That bite takes me back to my first slice from a pizza maker named Mario. The simplicity, the flavor, it's everything a New York slice should be. Luigi's is part of the evolution of New York pizza. It started with the coal brick ovens at places like John's of Bleecker Street, transition over to the gas ovens that Luigi uses. We see a little bit more artisanal spots like localities that uses wood as a fuel source. And the number one pizza slice in the world, Blindustry, uses electric ovens, which you may see more of depending on the regulations and costs. <laughs> All of these places are within a six mile radius of each other. So if you're ever in Park Slope, make sure you stop by Luigi's Pizza. It's not just a meal, it's a slice of New York history. And think about this, where many places now charge about five to six dollars per slice, Luigi's cheese slice is still under three dollars. And in my childhood, I paid 50 cents for a slice of pizza. 
Before we continue, let's check out the rest of Luigi's. There's a few tables and chairs. But what is interesting is this plaque from Grande. It's a high quality cheese that good pizzerias use. Then sprinkle on some pecorino for some sharpness. Gio's sauce is made from tomatoes that are in season and therefore flavorful. He makes sure the dough has the right amount of time to proof in order to develop that gluten. Combine all that plus a drizzle of high quality olive oil and more importantly, Gio's experience and knowledge creates that old school pizza that we've come to love. I'm so glad we still get to benefit from what he loves to do. To this day, there's still pies that come out of the oven and I say, wow, I would definitely take a bite out of that. He might be old school, but he has a strong social media presence. And you can continue to support him by following through his TikTok where he has over 138,000 followers. Watch how he answers the following question. What are you doing? I'm serving some pizza to, to a friend. And you still serve pizza to people? Oh, are you kidding? I'm not too good for anything. Cleaning, serving. This gentleman came in from Queens. He's one of your boys, Anthony. And check out his Instagram channel with over 155,000 followers. And you'll love his answer to this. Hey, Gio. Hey, Ian. Do you eat pizza every day? Every day, religiously. That's my host. <laughs> what time of day? Oh, it doesn't make a difference. I cut a slice into pieces and I'll have a piece here and there. But I have to have pizza. It's like a, it's a curse. It's, it's, it's like the greatest curse in the world. Have you had pizza for breakfast before? Yeah. Take it and throw it in my toaster oven. Who needs toast when you got pizza on the table? And I don't even put it in the fridge. I take it home at night. The next day, I just throw it in the toaster oven. Breakfast the champions, buddy. As I continue to enjoy this Luigi's Pizza Slice, I can't help but think that Gio might be the last of his generation making this traditional Brooklyn, New York style pizza pie that is affordable for his community, for his family. I love what I do, so every bit of love goes into it. So if you're ever in Park Slope, make sure you stop by Luigi's Pizza. It's not just a meal, it's a slice of New York history. Thanks for joining me on this delicious journey. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell for more foodie adventures. As I come to the end of this slice, should I get another one? What's the best part of your life? It was when you sit at the dinner table with your family. This is my family.